So Prairie Wildlife Rehabilitation Center opened up in 2007 and we're an organization that takes in injured, orphaned and well sick wildlife in Manitoba. Um, in our first year we took in 230 different types of wildlife ranging from small songbirds, uh, mammals up to the size of a fox and about 1% of reptiles so snapping turtles. Um, and last year we took in over 780 different kinds of wildlife, including a bobcat. This bird right here is Biji. Uh, her name means heart in Apache. Uh, we've had her since September and she is an American barn owl, uh, actually born on April 21st of 2013. So she's just turned a year. She is technically a nocturnal owl, but she does work on a people schedule because she was actually raised specifically for education and display purposes to be part of our education program where we go out to different schools, daycares, retirement homes, interested groups such as the Steinbeck Farmers Market and we basically teach everyone on um, what to do if you find an injured or orphaned wildlife and about different kinds of species such as an owl in Manitoba which unfortunately we do not have barn owls in Manitoba. We also have Keely. she is our female American kestrel. She is about seven years old and she actually has a broken left wing that healed incorrectly when she had fallen out of a nest as a baby. Um, so unfortunately she will never be able to fly other than two feet off the ground. Um, she can't be released, can't migrate, can't hunt on her own. Uh, so she's been actually with our center for about six years now. If people have found an injured or orphan animal, uh, the main thing we want to teach everybody is if the animal is injured, say it's hit your window, you want to put that bird into a box, into a quiet, cool, dark place. Probably keep it in there for one to two hours. Um, after those, that time, you can open the box if the bird flies away, the bird is good to go. If the bird does not fly away, then you want to bring it into a rehabilitation center because it probably has some internal injuries. We go to schools, daycares, retirement homes, really any interested groups, and we usually teach a one hour presentation, uh, be it about owls, prairie raptors, so uh, differences between falcons and owls. Uh, we do a great burrowing under program, which uh, we talk about all different kinds of animals that burrow, what a burrow is. Uh, and what to do about endangered species such as our burrowing owl. We do have one at our center named Nara. Uh, she's actually seven years old and she's a vital part of our education program to teach people that the burrowing owl is a very rare bird now in the province of Manitoba. Something very important about us that you should know is that we do have two drop-off sites in the city of Winnipeg, uh, the Pemina Vet and Wild Birds Unlimited in Elmwood. Uh, but if you do call our main number with an animal that you have found, uh, we do have volunteers all over the city and outside the city that can actually come and collect that animal or meet you halfway and get that animal to the rehabilitation center. A lot of people don't think to call us because they think that they live too far, um, but we work with conservation, we work with different kinds of truckers actually, uh, and everybody pitches in and tries to get those animals to us so that we can help those animals. The Prairie Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre is having its walkathon on September 20th. For more information, go to pwildlife.ca. Reporting for Steinbeck Online, I'm Rachel Siemens.